Hello everyone! Welcome back to Signing Spiritually. I'm super excited to have you here today. Today we are going to be learning about the fall of man. So that was that first mistake, that first sin that happened. Last week we discussed about Adam and Eve, who they were and what they did and how they impacted our world today. Today we are going to be discussing the first sin that happened, that first mistake, or the fall of man. So Adam and Eve, they lived in this beautiful and perfect paradise, and they were lovingly taking care of all the animals and eating from the different plants and the fruits that were in that beautiful place called the Garden of Eden. So they lived there and it was perfect harmony and peace and absolute beauty. But one day, temptation entered in. So into the serpent. They call it the serpent. And it may have been a lizard. That's what some scientists think, that it was perhaps a lizard. So that serpent went up to Eve and was like, hey Eve. And he was like, oh. Hey, hello there. How are you? And the serpent said, Hey Eve, can you eat from whatever tree you want? And Eve said, Yes, we can. Well, except for one. There was one that God warned us that if we eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, that we would die. And the snake was like, Hmm, interesting. Did God really tell you that you will surely die? Uh-oh. So the serpent is trying to cause Eve to question the word of God. So Eve said, yes, well, I think God, he said that we would surely die. The serpent, are you sure? And Eve, well, I mean, I think, yeah, that's what God meant. So the serpent said, hmm, okay and slithered away. Now, Eve, she had been thinking about that interaction. Did God really mean that we would die? Maybe not. So Eve, she went over to her husband, to Adam, and she said, hey Adam, do you want to try the fruit over here? I don't think we will actually die. I don't really think that's what God meant. And Adam's like, well, God said that we don't need to eat from that fruit. And Eve was like, yes, but we won't surely die. So Adam, he started thinking, he was like, mm, okay, I guess so. And so the two of them, they took the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they plucked the fruit from the tree and they took a bite. So Eve took a bite and she said, it's good, do you want to try it? And Adam, he also took a bite of the apple. He said, yeah, that was good. And then suddenly their eyes were open and they become aware that they were naked. So they tried to cover themselves and they were like, oh, we need clothes. So they gathered together some leaves and they started sewing and stitching up garments for them so that they would be able to have clothes. So now what happened next was God, and God typically, he would walk together with the man and woman. So Adam and Eve, God would come down and he would walk beside them and he would socialize with them. He had a relationship with the both of them and he would have conversations and socialize with them. However, that day God came down and he was walking around the garden and he started asking where where are you adam and eve where are you now god he already knew what happened but god he wanted to give them the opportunity to confess and he wanted to give them the ability to do that so god he started asking them hey where are you and adam he said we're hiding because we are scared because we have realized we're naked and God, he said, who told you you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? And Adam, he looked at Eve and he pointed to her and he was like, no, 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 Eve, she told me that I needed to eat from the tree. 
And then Eve was like, no, 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 the serpent, the serpent is who told me. So Adam, he blamed Eve, and then Eve, she blamed the serpent. So God, he looked at each of them, Adam, Eve, and then he looked at the serpent, and he told the serpent, you will be cursed. And all of your days, you will have to crawl on your belly, on the ground. So that would mean the serpent would no longer have legs. So we went, bam, no legs. And now the serpent, he would be crawling on the ground and you will forever eat dirt. And you will become the enemy of the woman and her children. And he sent away the serpent. Then, so God, he started talking to the woman. So he already handled the situation with the serpent. Now he turns to Eve and he lets her know. In all of your days, when you bear children, it will hurt. And you will have a great deal of suffering and pain when you try to have children. Also, he told the woman that your husband will rule over you. Then, so God took care of the snake, and then God, he took care of Eve. And then now, God turns to Adam. So Adam's punishment would be that you are going to have to work extremely hard to be able to survive, to be able to get food. You are constantly going to be having to do hard work and the fields around you will have thorns and those thorns will hurt you. It's going to be hard to grow food. And God, he also told Adam, now you will die. I made you from dust, and now from dust you will return. So God, he made clothes for Adam and Eve. What did he make it from? He made it from the skin of animals. That was the first time in the Bible that animals had to be killed. They were innocent animals, and they were killed for our sins. So that first mistake, that first sin caused the world to break and ache and have a desperate need for God, His mercy. And we see it all around us, all of the time. It is obvious that we live in a broken, sad, and desperate world, a world that is searching for satisfaction and can't find it even though they're trying all of these different things. They can never find that satisfaction. But we have hope. That satisfaction. Well, how can we have that hope, that satisfaction, that peace that we desperately need? We can find it in God and in Jesus Christ, his son. When God, he sent his son who sacrificed his perfect life for us on the cross and he died and he stayed in a borrowed tomb for three days. And then on the third day, Jesus arose and he went back into heaven. If we believe in that, we will have our sins forgiven and we will be able to go and live with God in all of eternity. So yes, we do have sin here in this world and we see it every day. It happens every single day, but we also can have that hope and that peace in Jesus Christ. God, he will forgive us of our mistakes. So we just need to repent and turn to God and fully trust in God and understand that God, he will take care of everything. God will take care of me and God will take care of you. And I, I just appreciate that God, he gives us that mercy and that mercy for our sins so that we can be forgiven. Jesus, his innocent sacrifice 
was enough to protect us from God's wrath. And Jesus, His innocent sacrifice, heals the world. It heals our brokenness, our desperation in the world. But we have to fully trust in God and fully trust in Jesus, our Lord and Savior. I want to let you know that yes, we do have that fall, that mistake, that first sin that caused everything in world's history to just cause sin again and again and that darkness and desperation and sadness and depression. But when we turn to God and put our eyes on Him, He gives us hope. He provides that peace. He provides that confidence. He provides support and provides love. Your life is important. God wants to take care of you, and He will. So we have hope in Jesus Christ. If you want to continue learning more about the Bible, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can let me know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like. I hope to see you next week. And remember, love like God loves you. Bye. Love you.